Hi, welcome back to 90 Second Fix. Uh, today I want to talk about why people hack. It's a bit strange concept. But really it comes from the idea of uh, two experiences that happened to me in the last week or so. First is a, a thread on LinkedIn where I was asking people about fix log parsers. Why are you building these things? And lots of people said that actually building them in-house is kind of a, an interesting coding project. The second one is a large security questionnaire that I had to fill out for one of our customers. Um, and the, the thing that struck me as I was thinking about this is, well, all of these internally built tools don't really go through the same level of due diligence that external vendors have to go through from a procurement perspective, a security perspective, an ongoing vendor management perspective. And what that does is that means that the internally built tools just feel so much easier for people. You don't have to go through all of the legal stuff. You don't have to go through the periodic reviews. And therefore it's a shortcut, right? It's a shortcut to allow you to get something done quickly without going through the headache. The problem is that actually what firms end up having at the end of this is a patchwork of tools that don't really talk to each other. They're things that, you know, Johnny built, but then Johnny's gone somewhere else. And over time, you accumulate this level of technical debt that means that actually you go slower as a result. So I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't be uh, hacking things together. You probably should to solve all the problems that you have, but do be aware of that technical debt. Hope that helps. Thanks for joining us for, for this 90 Second Fix.